In short, a micro lecture is any video or audio recording that is intended to help learners understand a particular concept or idea. Essentially, it's a larger lecture condensed into a brief three to five minute recording, usually focused on a very specific idea. By sharing information in this way, learners can better focus their attention so that new information is more easily organized in working memory then conceptualized as a verbal or pictorial model and ultimately integrated with prior knowledge already in long-term memory. If done effectively, micro lectures can be a great way to share information with your students and can be scaffolded with other content to facilitate genuine learning. Similar to traditional lectures, you shouldn't just jump into recording a micro lecture without first developing a plan or an outline. Completing the following steps will help you create a micro lecture that is educationally valuable and save you some time during the creation process. First, you want to write a script or at least an outline. Doing so will ensure that you've touched on all the necessary points related to your micro lecture topic and will keep you focused. Also, if accessibility is a consideration, you'll be able to use your script to more easily generate captions for your video. Next, it's important to consider which tool you will use to record your micro lecture. Different tools have different functionalities with pros and cons for each. Some options to consider include Zoom, Panopto, Yuja, or Google Meet, but there are many additional options as well. Once you hit record, you might experience some uneasiness with speaking only to a microphone. You may trip over a word or sputter while you speak. This is okay, keep going. These mistakes humanize you to your students, as does speaking in a conversational tone. A quality video feels welcoming even if the task at hand is to share some valuable knowledge. Once you have finished recording, there are a few additional considerations. Editing your video can be a simple or complex process and can include adding visuals, embedding questions, or captions. At a minimum, it's a good idea to auto-caption your videos using a tool like YouTube or Panopto. Finally, your video shouldn't stand alone. Find a way to pair it with other content or activities from your course so students can better integrate the content within other elements of your course and any pre-existing information already stored in their long-term memory. A micro lecture is only one piece of the puzzle. Find a way to connect it to the rest.